Kia ora, fellow Zoomers, and welcome to another Super Zoom video today. As we start to delve deeper into the Nikon P1000's functionalities, we're going to look at something that's not necessarily unique to the camera, but has made all the extra bit more special just because of that giant zoom lens. Frame rate, or frames per second, is something you may have heard about if you've been out shopping for a new TV, or maybe a new monitor for your computer. Basically, what it boils down to is how many images you can display or record in a second. So, this sort of thing is really important to gamers and to movie makers because it's going to impact how smooth the image looks when it's being displayed. Talking specifically about the P1000 now, you're going to notice that there is a bit of a trade-off between frame rate and image quality. Basically, the higher your frame rate, the lower your image quality is going to be. So when you're making a decision on what frame rate to shoot at, it's really going to depend on what exactly you're trying to make. So rule of thumb here is that if you're shooting something that's going to require you to slow it down when you're editing the video, you probably want to shoot at a higher frame rate because it's going to be a lot smoother once it's slowed down. Today, we will be looking at four of the options that you will find under the movie options on the menu screen in the Nikon P1000. Reasonably easy to navigate to. There are a few more options there, but these four are probably the ones that are going to give you the best contrast. So the four options that we will be looking at should be appearing on the screen somewhere here I guess? Hello options, please. Um, I'm not going to read them out because I will screw it up. Uh, Interesting to know though, there are two options here that are actually filmed at different speed. This is a preset of those two particular settings, so that's just something to keep in mind when you are playing around. So let's crack into it. I have two different examples for you today. One is a ceiling fan, not particularly interesting by itself, but a great way of showing frame rate differentials. Um, and the second one is bees. Bees. Yeah, so uh, let's go. Let's do the thing. Let's 